Hi there, this is Jeanette from Happy Spots and Ink Spots, and today I'm going to be showing you how I color the hair on my Whiff of Joy images. Um, a lot of the images have very um, beautiful, long, flowing hair, and this gives you the opportunity to play around with your markers and create um, some highlights and shadows to create some movement. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be imagining that the light is, is, is coming straight onto her face. Um, and so what will be lighter is um, the curls, the, the top portion of the curls will be um, lighter than the, the side here, the bottom portions of the curls. So I'm going to show you how to create that look. I'm going to start off with E50, which is a really um, light color, a light sort of brownish color. And I'm just going to put it everywhere. And I'm not going to be paying too much attention to covering every tiny area at this point because I know I'm going to be using a lot of color and it'll it'll get all colored in. So there's my E50. The next color is going to be YR31. And I'm going to be adding that <clears throat> to the places where I think would be dark, darker. So I'm going to be leaving some areas uncolored because those are my highlights. So here and here I'm going to color and I'm going to leave the middle area uncolored and it's going to give me a highlight. There would be a shadow here from her bend. And I'm imagining this part of the hair sort of going over this part. here and then I'll leave the middle light. So already you can see it's starting to to take shape a little bit. I'm going to just go in with my E50 and just soften up any lines. Hmm. Before I go on, I'm going to be adding now my darkest shade, which is E33. And so I won't be adding too much of it. And I'll be adding it just to the areas I want darker. Okay, so now you can see where I've added all the shadows. So I'm going to go back now with my YR31. And I'm going to soften out, blend out 
any harsh lines. You'll notice that I use sort of a sort of stroking motion when I'm doing hair. That just helps give the illusion that it's real because hair is strands, so that's the way I'm coloring it. So now I'm going to take my E50, which is what I started off with, and I'm just going to go in. to do the final blending with this color. Okay, so then the last thing I do um, is I take my colorless blender and I just um, go in with that and lighten up the highlight areas even more. So you just want to do it in a small area and it just pushes the color away and, and helps give you a better highlight. And if there was any little mistakes you meant made where you um, went out the line and you can correct them at the same time. This strand here I want to make it lighter. Here and here too. Okay, so that's how I do the hair on my Whiff of Joy images. Um, I hope that helped out a little bit, um, answered some of your questions, and uh, thanks for stopping by.